Hello again, everyone. Day 11. Day 11. I started this video a few moments ago and I had to stop because I just dissolved into a, a dreadful coughing fit. So I'm, I dosed myself up and just hoping I can get through with, without having to keep stopping to edit out uh, bouts of coughing. Anyway, I've had a look at this because I started a moment ago, as I just said, and look what it is. What a house of little jet treasures. We've got a little turtle, some weeds or grass or reeds or whatever, and presumably flowers are coming out of the, we the reeds. So um, my thought was I would have this little chap um, and use my gummy pan puddle dye for him to be sort of looking around his territory and, and, and have some of the, uh, the reeds growing beside or from the puddle. Um, so I, I've, I've started to cut some out. I've got some there. I had a little leftover square, so I've, I've cut some more there. Um, I'm going to um, stack the turtle, but I think I'll cut his shell again and have that again on top to give that extra dimension and make him a little bit more dynamic. So um, I'll cut the whole lot again, I think. Um, so that I've got a few bits to go on. I've got a, is that the same card? It is, I might cut some from that. Let's just see, see what we can fit on here. I only want to shell this time from that, but let's see if we can fit all of these tendrils, I don't know what you call them really, shoots. Might have to pick them up with my um, tweezers. And these tweezers could do with a wash by the look of them too. Right, how are we doing? Don't want that. Okay, that's it. Let's just pop those through. Now, I've got to decide whether I colour these things with markers or inks or whatever, or maybe even do a mixture of both actually. Um, let's get the turtle out. I'll cut his shell off. Now what did I do with my special scissors? Uh, there they are. Somebody asked me for the make of them so I had to go and get them and look them up and I had them by the computer from mentioning what they were. Just snip through and there's his shell. So we've got a separate shell. We've got two bodies. We can stick those two together. I don't think we need his extra legs. Uh, let's pop these two together. And we will colour um, his, his head and his legs on here. And then we'll see how we go from there. Right. He's such a sweetie. And he hasn't got he hasn't got a miserable face actually. Often turtles look a bit gloomy, don't they? Bless them. But I've got a small little I made myself a small uh, palette from a just a piece of packaging. Rounded the corner so it looked neat. So I can do some colouring on this. Um some people were complaining that having the white pieces on my white um, colouring sheet, you know, the, the plastic thing, they couldn't see what was going on. So I'll, I'll, I'll try and have, I'll laminate one with another colour so we can see what's happening. So let me just have a look, see what colours we've got for a turtle's legs. And I think he's going to be sort of um, greeny, browny ish, don't you? What have we got? Stonehenge, that's a sort of a greyish thing. Quite like the look of Stonehenge, but I fancy something a bit greeny with it as well. What could I put with that? Mm -hmm. I don't know, let's just have a go. Let's just have a go, what's that one? Shorthorn Brown, that says. 
Well, that might work. And Stonehenge. Where's Stonehenge? There it is. Right, let's just have a little go at this old chap. Okay. Doesn't matter if I go into the um, over the shell bit because that bit's going to be covered by that piece there. Do you know what? If I don't like the colour of this, I might just get a bit of ink and, and, and have a little dabble with that as well. So we'll see, we'll see how we go. Let's see what this does. Oh, that looks a funny colour, doesn't it? It's not quite the colour I was anticipating. It's Mr. Shorthorn Brown. It looks green on there, doesn't it? I thought it was going with that the colour beneath. Um, although he might be quite nice like that. Mightn't he? No, perhaps that's perhaps that's okay. Now how about his shell? I want his shell a different colour again. I expect my friend Deb would have um, divided this up again and put a whole new one, whole new sets of um, of uh, the platelets plate things on the top. What I might do though, I think what I might do is to colour this, but put um, a bit of foam tape in between the two layers so that it really does stand out. So let's colour, I'll have to colour around the edge of that, I think, just to, um, just, just in case anything shows. Okay. Now, if I use this one, and I do fancy something green, I have to say, I do find, and they never look the same on the on the item as they do in the in the swatches. What's that look like? Very green. That's a bit de trop. Let's have a look at this one. That's better. That's better. Okay, let's have. A bit of green, some bits of green. Okay, I'm going to try a bit of this with it and just see what happens. Now I'm going to put some more green on. I may put some um, glossy accents on this or crystal glaze, whatever, whatever the, uh, I think I will actually, but he looks nice. I'm pleased with him. Right. Let's put a tiny, we'll put a little, one of these jobs on his back, right there. Then I'll glue around the edge and see if we can get this to, to stick on somehow. Right. Glue round there. Might have to squish it a bit because it feels a bit fat to me. Let's just see. Take the top off. Now. Let's see how we go. I just have to hold it a moment. I think I might use a little of this Stonehenge as well that I used before, just to do a bit of shading out here. one. There we go. I don't want it to look, you know, absolutely pristine. I'd like it just to look a little bit. There we go. Isn't he sweet? Look at him. Now, 
if I've got a jelly roll that works, I like to put a bit of white on his eye and then I'll put some black on later. So there's our turtle. Actually, what I will do with him, I will put some glossy accents on him so that I can be drying whilst um, I'm doing the rest. Let's find some glossy accents. Crystal glaze, that's it. Crystal glaze, let's just pop this onto here. But just do his shell for the minute. I won't do his body because it's a different texture's body, isn't it? Right now, then let's do these. What shall we do with these? First of all, let me um, prepare the pond. Um, what size card? I've got various card bases here, as usual. Um, a little square one, my normal rectangle, a larger square one. I think I'll try today with a little square one. Let's pop these out of the way. So if this is going to be my, my panel, I'll put him out of the way so I don't mess him up. Okay. Um, I, want my, I want my pond, that's the right way up, my squish of water or whatever, Shall I have it slightly to one side? Why not? Let's be bearing. Put my head on my glue. Um, let me just cut this a minute. This is a, an embossing die. It won't cut the pond out, the puddle out. It will just make impressions. It will. It, there'll be some cut lines, but um, it won't cut anything out. I'll try and get it to stay straight. There we go. Right, there's my pond. Can you see it's just the impression of the pond? So, now I think we'll add a bit of colour to this. Don't know where the dirty marks come from. Um, Let's just see if I have these kind of things growing in or on or around or whatever. And then it has, these are hard to pick up. I think I have some, let's have some more. Um, let's have these ones here. He's coming this way, isn't he? Um, he's maybe he can be there. So I'll have it. Most of it. I have the. We'll have the turtle here, the, the tortoise, whatever he is, and these can be growing up from the pond, can't they? From the puddle. Okay, I think so. Let's have a little one there, and perhaps. Like that kind of thing. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, we'll colour those, we'll colour this. Let's see. Let's get out the greens again. And I may just flap them about in a bit of ink as well, if I don't like what I've done. I fancy lighter colour for these fronds. It's difficult to see which is the right way up. That's the right way up, I think. I need to get a pair of glasses with it over here. Right, there's four. And I don't think I'm going to try and stack these because they're just too skinny. It'll be too tricky. And I think these are going to get smooshed with a bit of ink. I'm not going to try and colour with a pen on these. Right, I can just flap them around into some, into some ink, can't I? Perhaps I'll do that with all of them. Let's see. Um, what colour shall we have? Um, I'm thinking about him. 
can't give him a little black eye. Um, there's, <laughs> there's no colour that says pond reeds. Perhaps we'll have a bit of forest moss, which is over here. Oh, there you come. Forest moss, which is a very dark colour. We'll have a little peeled paint. We'll have a little, I like shabby shutters as well. I'm all greens here. I might throw a bit of rusty hinge in or something just to give it a bit of mud. I'm looking for shabby shutters. Oh, can't see. Oh, there it is. Right. So let's have a bit of a bit of that. A bit of this. This is where you can't this is where I'd be probably would be better off on the white sheet, wouldn't I? You'd be able to see the colours better. Right. Spritz of water. Let's get colouring. Let's have a bit of... Um, that's all a little bit samey, isn't it? Let's go a bit with a bit of something a bit darker. Not too keen on that at all. Let's try a little one. <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't like this. Right, I'm going to add a bit of do it the other way around. I said I was going to do um I was going to do markers and then ink. I'm going to do ink and then markers. Try again. No, I don't like that. I'm going to start again. Right, let me just, I'll keep those. Um, I just don't like them. I just don't like the look of these at all. Right, let me get rid of that. Okay. And I'll cut a few more of these. Well, this one here. Let's just see what we can do with him. There he is. Right. Dark, medium, light. It looks like you haven't set up any home kit accessories. <laughs> What are you talking about, Mr. Siri? What's a home kit accessory, for goodness sake? What are you talking about? Goodness me. He, he, he chirps up at the most odd moments. Don't like this either, I don't think. Right, that'll, that is what I would do. That doesn't look too bad. Right, let's cut some more um, of the weeds. And I don't like pine needles very much. I much prefer 
rustic wilderness if I'm going to do anything at all. I wonder if I can get these back. Oh, that's all wet. No, those are going in the bin. Never mind. Can't win them all, can we? Uh, what am I doing? Cutting some more of these. A bit of card. Some scrap here. Shall I get the right way up? Let's cut them all again. Let's cut these two. I think the, tur the turtle is fine, and I've probably got enough of those reedy things so it's probably just the re the um the, oh, well i don't know what they are whatever they are let's just have some of these right let's just color this pond a minute first i'm going to have to do that with markers because it's in the middle of a sheet and I, I, I don't think I can dab ink onto that and get it all kind of where I want it so um, let's just do a bit of shading don't care for this colour much let's put that one back because I don't like it much Now I'm going to use some little um, watercolour grass stamps I've got in here somewhere. Where is it? It's a tiny, tiny little stamp. Look at the size of that. That's a clump of grass. So I'm going to put some glue on here because I don't think it's going to adhere that well as it's so small. Just put a bit of glue on there. Feel it. That's better. Okay. So let's try my rustic wilderness. Sliding all over the place. I think that'll do. Look at it sliding all over the on that glue. There we go. Let's leave it up for the moment. Right, let's have a look at this. That is, that is just, it's just so vivid, I don't like it. I just don't like it and I'm not quite sure what to tone it down with. Um, That looks better. Just dirtied it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that one will do. Let's put a bit of glue on that and pop it on. I apologise if I'm not giving too much of a commentary today, but it's... Um, I just don't want to start 
a bad bit of coughing, so I hope you'll excuse me. Right, let's colour another one. Some of these colours by themselves look dreadful, but when they're mel melded or, you know, mingled with others, they look a lot better. Let's just see. I think those would be okay there. Right, glue. Right, now then, where's my turtle gone? Oh, here he is. And I thought, oh, I haven't put my little fronds in. Oh, I need my fronds. I'll just do a little bit of a, a little bit of um, ink for those. I think shabby shutters will probably do for those. Right, a drop of water. Gosh, we can't do without these, can we? There we go. Let's soon dry off once they're separate. Okay. I will put those in momentarily. I'm sure they'll dry off quickly. Right. Now... When I looked at this little chap, I thought to myself, he needs to be saying, howdy. I just, I just had a vision of him saying, howdy. So I'm just going to stop and I'll um, do it. Um, a computer generated uh, sentiment that says, howdy. And I'll be back and I will put it on. Well, I'm back again and I printed out howdy on the computer. Um, cut it with a small die. I've put a couple of pieces of um, foam tape on the back and I'm going to pop it just there where, where that little black mark is. So um, try to get the little black mark off but it doesn't seem to want to go. So this is the perfect place for my sentiment. Howdy. Right, now to stick these little tendril things on, I don't know what they are, what I'm going to do is this. I've put a tiny bit of this glue on my mat here. I'm just going to wipe the, t the bottom of the reed or wh whatever it is on it. And then I'm just going to lift up the reeds and tuck it behind any sort of any old hair really. So I don't know how many I'm going to use. I think that's the way it actually went. So we'll just, you know, see how we feel really. 
Actually, I think this one might be a trifle long. Let's make it a little bit shorter. So I'll have to get some more glue further up the stem and we'll pop it in behind there. There we go. And some more. It's really cut kind of, they're kind of fun, aren't they? I really think they're fun. It looks quite wild, doesn't it? Turtle's habitat. I think that's about as much glue as I've got, so I think that's probably going to be enough. There we go. Let's just get that under something. Well, that one wasn't stuck. Behind. There. That's it. Okay. Now, all I have to do with that now is pop it onto the front of my card. Whether I put that on foam tape or not, I don't know. But isn't that fun? Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry I was silent for a lot of it. I'll, I'll, I think I'll try and whiz the film through those bits. So, um, um, you're not too bored. Anyway, thank you as ever for joining me on the 11th. And I hope I'll see you tomorrow for number 12. I wonder what number 12 has in store for us. See you then. Thanks for watching. <laughs>